Hi, everybody. Uh, first, uh, thanks to Management One for letting us uh, make this presentation to you. Uh, for those of you that I have not met, uh, my name is Dan Javlons. I'm the president of Retail Smart Guys. We've been a Management One retail expert slash affiliate for you old timers um, uh, for a little more than 15 years now. Uh, and um, uh, love what we do with Management One and have had great success with it. Um, but a couple of years ago, I started to work with, uh, with Diana and folded her into what we're doing with Retail Smart Guys. And I'll tell you a little bit about that. Um, if you're like me, sometimes you go to these open to buy meetings with clients and the meeting starts and you go, okay, so, you know, on a scale of one to 10, just what, uh, what percentage of the stuff that you bought is actually in your system? You know, uh, maybe I get a seven or an eight sometimes, you know? So then you have to go back and recalculate things or, you know, oh, you have all this open to buy. Well, I really don't, or, you know, that kind of thing, right? So uh, one of the first things I did with Diana when I met her was to work with her on how to enter purchase orders. But the business has expanded since then. We're working with lots and lots of different retailers there. Uh, and our goal really in the whole thing is to basically take away from the retailers some of the administrative manual things that they're doing that keep their focus away from the things that we as retail experts want them focused on, right? Their inventory, their sales, and their customers, and their staff too. So the idea of this was to remove that whole layer of administrative overhead for them uh, in ways that was super affordable and super easy to work with. And you'll see that as we go through the process today. But the idea of this is for you and for your retailers to basically have a way to offload some of the stuff that's time consuming and isn't contributing to their profitability. So with that, uh, Diana has put together a presentation for us. And uh, I told Diana that she would do the play by play and I'll do the color commentary. So I'll, I'll chime in from time to time, but I'm going to turn it over to, to Diana. Um, and so there she is. So Diana, it's all yours. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Thank you, Christine and Nico. Um, although we have some technical difficulties, it's okay. Let's proceed. It's normal. Uh, we are live today. So again, good morning to everyone that's attending this um, webinar and those that are going to watch after. Um, my name is Diana Evangelista, and I am from the Philippines. I worked with Dan for um, almost three years now, um, but I have been working online on a different capacity, um, project manager, um, executive assistant, um, anything that you can think of while working online for 12 years. So um, nice meeting you all. Okay, so let me start sharing my screen. And these are um, the services that we offer in collaboration with Retail Smart Guys. Okay, so we provide admin support, which started in February of 2021. And uh, working with that has um, absolutely changed um, a lot of lives with uh, my colleagues and you know people that work from the Philippines. So what services do we offer? We do most admin staff, which is entering purchase orders, um, entering you know, images um, on their e-commerce websites. We also do bookkeeping with um, CPAs from the Philippines. We do data pool or reports generation, which we normally upload on retail orbit. And, we and also the, do- the right there too, the data pool guys is where we are loading data uh, on people for people that do not have shuttle um, uh, POS systems that work with Shuttle, like Shopify. So Diane and her crew actually go into Shopify and Stocky, and we pull the data out and we update Shuttle for those clients, so they don't have, so they and you don't have to do it manually. Okay, all right, keep going, Diane. Correct. Yes, and the the services has actually expanded from a simple data entry. We are now doing billing and payroll data entry for different clients in the U.S. We also do social media content creation, and we now do web development and technical support. When I say web development, anything that um, you want to be troubleshooted on the website, anything that um, a migration from one POS to another um, POS. So we also do that now. Okay, so let me continue. Who, who are we? Okay, we are a team of 20. Um, individuals. We are a group of people working remotely from the Philippines and we are all working from home. Thank you for the technology. And we collaborated with uh, Retail Smart Guys in which we offer 
um, different services. So um, these are um, services that I mentioned a while ago, um, more to support retail store owners and retail store consultants. Okay, so um, these are faces of you know the the staff that are working. Um, they, they, we are just few in here, but right now um, the company is growing, and we're very happy to be able to support um, our clients in the U.S. and in Canada. Okay, so I'm talking about purchase orders, uh, purchase order system. We are familiar with different softwares like Shopify, Stucky. Heartland, Lightspeed, Clover, Retail Pro, Retail Edge, uh, so on and so forth. And Accounting Payroll, QuickBooks. These are um, softwares that are, I would say, popular and most of retail store owners are using. So we are confident that um, Retail Smart Guys will be able to support you when it comes to different softwares. Um, logically, it's the same process, except that there will be differences on how to manipulate the system because they have different um, um, system, right? So we are also familiar with WordPress, Squarespace, Flowdesk, MailChimp, and also on social media. So we, do, we don't actually manage, we do content creation. So there, and we work with more than 70 clients and, you know, we are inviting you to join us. So there's more room for you. Okay. Great. Okay. Do, do you want to add, Dan? Um, you know, I will just say this, that, that uh, basically anything, you know, as you look at the, at the suite of services and the things that we work in right now, uh, basically there isn't a, um, a, a, a task that's administrative that we ourselves can't help you with. So if, um, uh, it, like as an example, one of the clients that I was, one of my clients was trying to, was, they were on um, CounterPoint and they were trying to get live on the web and uh, they had to do something called gridding within CounterPoint, which is some process to get the stuff ready for the web. And the buyer was trying to do it. And at the rate that he was doing it, that's why that website would have gone live around the spring of 2090, I think. So uh, I finally just said, look, give it to us, let uh, Diane and her crew do it. And in a couple of days, that website was live. So if there's anything that's administrative that has to get done, that can be done remotely, uh, the crew can do it and they, they will do it better and faster than anybody else that you can imagine. Thank so. you, Dan. Okay, so these are um, the services and the prices that we have when it comes to purchase order entry, billing and payroll data entry, that is $15 per hour and bookkeeping is 25 per hour. Other services I mentioned before, uh, we have to set up a meeting for a code, for example, web development, or um, yeah, I think it's just more on web development, but the rest is either gonna be $15 per hour or 25 for bookkeeping. Okay, so what do we offer for you? Uh, first hour is um, always free, okay? Setting up a meeting, um, as long as it's actually a meeting, um, it's actually free. It's not being billed to the mm -hmm. client because we wanna make sure that we'll be able to assist you and support you and what you need, okay? So the actual billing is when we really start on the actual work. Okay, so we also do an end of shift report where um, the team is proactive when it comes to that. I'll show you an example later. We wanna make sure that when we start working on your account, you know what's happening. Okay, we want to make sure that we are visible. Okay, we, we, we want you to feel that we are here for you. And in order to, to, to do that, you will be seeing this report, which is very important because there's a lot of reports that has an escalation in which we need your response and hopefully a timely response. And we also create process documentation and this is actually free. Okay, so, for a purchase order entry, most of the clients that we encountered has a process. Some doesn't have a process, but it's never documented. Okay, so we write those process for you and I'm gonna show you an example later. This way, when you have a local person um, entering your purchase order and we have a, a, a person um, overseas working on that, having like a Bible or a guide is really good so that you know, um, our, our, I mean, the, the work that we do is sync with the work that you do. And that's very important to make sure that, you know, um, inventory, you know, all of that, 
um, inventory is not affected because you know categories are not right, you know pricing is not right. Those are very important. The attention to detail and accuracy um, is one major thing that we are really we really value. So yeah. Well, uh, let me just amplify that a little bit. You know, um, when someone expressed some interest in, in in having us do some work for them, the first hour uh, that we meet with them is free just to go over what they need and how that's going to work, okay? When we do work for them at the end of every day, they get an end of shift report. We're going to show you one of those, but you'll see the level of detail that they'll see about the work that we're doing. So there's no mysteries. There's no wondering what we did or didn't do, okay? The other thing that's, that actually blew me away that Diana and her team on their own actually created was when they learn how to enter purchase orders for somebody, okay, what they do is they actually document the process with screenshots and everything. And the documentation for how we enter purchase orders and stuff like that is actually better than what the point of sale companies themselves provide. You'll be blown away when you see it, okay? So we actually give them back the documentation by which we enter purchase orders in for free. So they actually have to walk away with this thing with a better manual for how to enter stuff than they ever got from their point of sale provider, okay? And the last one that's on here that I'll just talk about quickly is that if there are any mistakes that are ever made by the crew and, and the retailer discovers that we made a mistake, we entered a purchase order, gave it the wrong class or did the wrong pricing or that kind of thing, not only do we credit back the time we spent on entering that, but we will fix it for free. So there is actually no risk, no no danger in them doing it at all. Financially, it actually works out much better for them to be honest. And and uh, uh, um, so we, we create all that kind of stuff so that it would be easy, so it would be simple, and so they get everything they could possibly need. Okay. Thank okay. you, Dad. And another thing that I want to add is there is no long term contract. So we. You know, we don't push for any agreements. You know, when you're happy with us, um, stay with us. And most are really happy and has been with us for quite some time. When yeah. we started, they're still here with us. So um, I, I think that's something that is, we did a great job, I think. Yeah. Okay. And let, me, let me add to that too. You know, a lot of these guys, you know, uh, if they hire someone to do what we're doing, first off, it's more expensive, right? Because by the time they get, if we're $15 for, for a purchase order entry here in the US, they'd have to also make their own tax contribution to that. So it's gonna be far more than that. Also, it'd be really hard to hire someone at 15 bucks an hour in the US that'd be worth anything, right? Um, but you know, on, on top of that, because there, there are no contracts and because there are no minimums, if someone needs us for an hour this month or they need us for 30 hours, we don't really care. It's totally fine, whatever they need. So sometimes there are some people that we work with only when they come back from market and they've got like a whole pile of purchase orders and they send them over to us and we enter them in. And then the rest of the times they go on maintenance mode, they do it themselves, that's fine. So, you know, we built the service in such a way that there would not be a lot of rules. There wouldn't be a lot of, oh, it has to be this or it has to be that. We are here to be just a labor pool for you and your clients for whenever they need it for whatever they need. Okay. All right, Diana, let's keep going. Okay. So um, Dan mentioned about, you know, um, giving the credits back. So we are, we are just want to be here to make you happy and make you comfortable and be honest with, you know, our services. So that's something that is um, okay with us. Okay. All right. So let me continue. I'm showing you here an example of an end of shift report. This is a report they get every day that we do work for them. Okay, so every okay. Day we do yes. for them, they'll, they'll actually, this is what they get at the end of the and at the end of our shift working for them. This is an example for a. Um, um, Dan, can you see my screen on no, the sample I email? I don't see the email. No. Okay, meaning I need to reshare it. And by the way, you guys as affiliates also get this email too. There it is. Okay. Okay. I, I hope it's big enough for you guys to see. Okay. So this is an example of a um, an end of trip report. And this client has been with us for more than two years and very happy to, you know, still work with this client. So what you will be seeing here is what are the purchase orders that has been entered in the system? You know, it has the name of the file, it has a PO number and the vendor number and how many items were entered, okay? Anything that is work in progress means um, anything that we still need to continue working. Issues and challenges are normally highlighted in red and with screenshots, 
Okay, these are basically questions on related to example pricing, related to you know item categories, so on and so forth. And these are the ones that we need our clients to attend to so that we can um, update, correct, and enter purchase orders on a timely manner. Okay, down here, there are running hours for a specific month, okay? There is a hyperlink, which is um, this link, and it's gonna show you the number of hours that was um, work hours uh, from the team. Let me try to um, open that. That way, no uh, workers like what you know. What do we do? What, what hour? How did I get to twenty one hours? How did that happen? They can actually see. Oops, went away from it, but but they can actually see um, uh, how many hours we worked, what we worked on, wh how the time was spent. You know, so that there's no questions about where that went to. Okay, they can also look at that um, and they can go, wait, you know, did this PO was wrong or that was wrong, and that way we can figure out the whole thing. But you can see here. This is everything we've entered on each PO on each day, how much time we spent, how many hours, who did the work, et cetera. Yes, and you can see the screen then, right? The, yeah, the Excel see. file. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. so um, clients will are normally conscious of if the speed is low or fast. Of course, that is normal. So when we enter the purchase orders and clients are looking at this, they are happy because they know for sure that our speed is better than when they enter their purchase orders. Because from here, you will be able to calculate, you know, um, the per minute of how many are completed per, per day. And it, we are very transparent with that if the client is not happy. So we need to understand what's her process so that, you know, we'll be able to address why our process, I mean, why the time is not. But I don't think that ever happened. Really? Okay, and, and, yeah, it never did. Here's the other thing, specifically with this client, they're on light speed, right? So one of the things that we uh, that we do for them is not only do we enter the purchase order and all the details about the purchase order, then to make them ready for the web, we actually go out and we find the images for those items that are um, uh, that that the manufacturer or the vendor has, and also the descriptions from the vendor. We add that into Lightspeed so that not only do we enter the purchase order, but now those items are ready for them to be posted to their uh, to their website. So they are live on e-commerce as we enter the the purchase order. Now that's what we do for them. We do it for a bunch of other people too. Diana talked a little bit about that, but again, it's an administrative task that would take them a tremendous amount of time, and we're doing it for them automatically. And I want to add on that, Dan, there are clients that only wants us to enter purchase orders. Mm -hmm. And there are clients that want us to enter only the web prep or the e-commerce side. So meaning images, you know, um, meta tags, description. And there are clients that is uh, a combination of entering the purchase order and doing the e-commerce. Okay. And when it comes to the building of that, it's still $15 per hour. They, they thought that the the, the uh, pricing is different from those two services. It's the same. Okay, so let me proceed to um, process documentation and I'm gonna click this one and show you how it looks like. Okay, I think I need to reshare so I can go to the document. Okay, so this is an example of a documentation that we are gonna send to the client in which we offer this one for free, okay? Once we get the hang of working with um, the, the client and her process, we put that together and we give the client a copy of this. So it, it's good, you know, we, we created a, a very simple documentation, but it's really, really helpful on, on our clients. Also, this, you know, basic data entry workflow, we have here detailed work process, like step one, step two with screenshots, um, step three, so on and so forth. And this actually made a difference because our clients knows that trust that we are doing, um, we are following the correct process because we put it in a, in a document where they feel confident that Okay, you are doing the right thing. And um, okay, so these process are being sent to the client 
and we would get their confirmation if the, the this one is correct. Um, if not, then we have to update and resend it to them. So we create this 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 document for every point of sale that we work in, for every client that we work in, because I, as you guys know, it's not always the same client to client. So they yes. actually walk away with not only us entering their purchase orders, but just in case if they want to do it themselves later, they have a document that they can use to train their own staff on how to enter purchase orders that is far better than any documentation from any point of sale vendor. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let me proceed with my slide. So that is about the um, process documentation. Okay, but you know, not only that, we just want to show you uh, a couple of, of uh, success stories. We've gotten some clients. Uh, this one that's here right now, that's on the screen right now, is from my client that's in North Carolina. And uh, and, and if you look at this one, and and you'll see it uh, again when you when we send you the the this out to everybody. This client basically for two months was underwater in terms of getting their purchase orders entered. <coughs> getting their merchandise into the system. And so the open of eyes were constantly understated. And I was constantly like saying, come on, you gotta get the stuff in, you gotta get the stuff in, let us do it. They dragged their feet before I finally convinced them to, to get Diana and her crew to do it. Now, this is a success story from the woman who's the store manager there. Just before 5 p.m., we received a pallet full of merchandise. It would have taken her two weeks to get that all in, okay? She sent all the packing lists to us. Overnight, we entered everything. When she came in in the morning, all she had to do was check the prices, print price tags, and she was free to actually do the things we want her to do, to merchandise it well, to make sure the open buys are right, to make sure they're working with customers, to do customer outreach, to do all the things that we know retailers need to do to thrive and survive right now. She would have spent a whole week in the back there, not talking to customers, not working on sales, not working on inventory. She would have spent all that time entering this stuff instead she you know uh, um, we were able to free her from that so she could actually run the store yes <laughs> so that was it that was huge and so they, they called me and were like oh my god this is amazing you know so there you go all right let's show the next one right now. so here's another success story okay uh um you know, we're and you see, she talks about they always check their work. We're, you know, Diana and her crew, uh, you know, just to be, you know, completely transparent. I'm always saying to Diana, we need more people. We got to get more people. We want to grow. We want to do more. And she's much pickier than I am in terms of hiring people and making sure that they are detail oriented and can really do the job well and stuff like that. So you can see there's going to be lots of these things of, of us talking about how we're constantly checking the work to make sure it's good. Okay. That one's been doing this for two years, okay? So this one, we helped them change their POS system, okay? And this one actually what happened was, not only did, did we do that work for them, but through an error, okay, they lost all the data out of their POS, which I think was Shopify, Diane, if I'm not, if I'm yeah. not right? So they lost all their data, but we had backups of all of it from everything that we helped them convert with. So we actually, the same day, got them up and running and got all their data back. Shopify couldn't do it. They couldn't do it themselves. We did it for them at $15 an hour. Okay, all right, keep going. Okay, uh, this one is a bookkeeping one. I will tell you one of the things that's been a life changer for us in terms of bookkeeping is that I have clients that had some of the worst sets of books I've ever seen. <laughs> Just, you know, those of you that are trying to do break even analyses, you know, sometimes you look at a, at a financial statement and you go like, what is going on here? Like a, one of my clients actually had accounts receivable, even though he doesn't have any accounts receivable. Somehow their CPA was putting vendor coupons into accounts receivable, it was a mess, okay? And he actually said to me, after working with Diana's crew for, for a little while, he said to me, I actually have financial statements I can read and I actually understand. And they are now finally a tool when he couldn't understand them ever before. And you know, just yesterday I was talking to Mark Weiss you remember Mark Weiss, don't you? Anyway, um, <laughs> Mark and I were talking about this and in one of his indie insights that he sends out now, he was talking about something that Dennis Levine said to him years ago, which is that how much more business does a retailer have to do to make up for the mistakes that are found inside their, their financial statements or their accounting or their operations processes that are wrong? Doing this eliminates those mistakes and it gives them real visibility into their business and enables them to see what's going on at much less than what they would pay for if they were trying to do it locally. 
So, you know, Mark told me, and, and Mark will, will be very frank, he'll tell you in the beginning, he wasn't sure I should do this, but congratulated me yesterday on just how much this has improved clients' businesses in their lives. And the idea of focusing them on their inventory and their sales and their customers and keeping their focus away from administrative overhead is been, has been game changing for most of the retailers that are, that are working with us. And for me, actually, as someone who's providing services to them. So there you go. Okay, here's another one. Keep going, Diana. Okay, uh, uh, here's a great one, you know, uh, uh, and look at this from maximizing your work life balance and increasing your bottom line. That's what this is all about, right? Not spending hours and hours at night entering purchase orders. Let us do it and you can put your kids to bed or, or do their homework with them or spend time with them or do things you really want to do. Okay, responsiveness is something that's a hallmark of this, by the way. The crew is super, super responsible, responsive to everything that happens. And if, if there's something that comes up and, you know, it's during the day when, when they're asleep because we're on completely different clocks. Like right now we're doing this eight in the morning Pacific time. It's like 11 or something like that where Diana is. So Diana, I appreciate you you're working late on this. Um, but if they, can't, if they can't reach Diana, they can always reach me. Okay, okay, keep going. All right, now. Uh, so there's the crew again, and there's Jay Shore. Some of you know Jay. Jay was uh, uh, Jay and I know each other for 25 years. Jay was in the uh, point of sale world with with me. And so if you have questions about this, you can reach out to Jay, and Jay will get you connected to Diana. There's his phone. There's his email. Okay. So if you have any questions or or or, or, or any of that, you can talk to Jay. You can talk to me. We'll connect you with Diana. And we'll get the whole thing going. Okay. That's our presentation, everybody. Uh, well, thank you so much. Well, thank you to Management One for this opportunity to present on services that we offer. Thank you, Dan. So you. Um, I just have something that I put in here. It says, delegate and elevate. Focus your time on money-making activities while empowering others to handle the rest. So thank you uh, once again. That is the purpose of all of this. Okay. Christine, if you're still on here, we can open this up to any questions or comments people have or anything that we can answer. I am on here. Can you hear me? Ken. Yes. Yay. Does anyone have any questions? Please put it in the Q&A box or raise your hand. I don't see anyone with any questions, but if anyone does have any questions, I'm sure you can email Dan and he would be happy to find the answer. Again, I want to apologize for the technical difficulties this morning and thank you everyone who attended this webinar. Um, please in about two to three hours, be on a, the lookout in your email box for the recording of this amazing presentation i was taking a lot of notes thank you so much dan and yeah, let, let, me just, let me just wrap up christine with one other thing that i want to i want to tell you about okay okay you know uh it, it has it has happened a lot where people are sort of like well gee i'm not sure you know i don't know can they do it is it going to work how's it going to go that kind of stuff and i always encourage them look you're not signing a long-term commitment give us a couple of hours let us do the work for you let us see what happens with that i can tell you that every time we've done that Every time someone has just sort of like, you know, been brave enough to, you know, send us the PDFs of, of a few purchase orders, they're customers for life. And the reason is, is that this crew is efficient, they're smart, they're dedicated, and unlike what we see in, in other places, they're happy to get the work. So when we send purchase orders to them, you know, sometimes we've sent them like, you know, a whole stack of purchase orders, and they go, thank you. <laughs> and they're happy to get it, right? So, so, and, and they're just, you know, I will just tell you personally, <clears throat> for me, um, these are some of the warmest, nicest, most dedicated, hardworking people I've ever had the pleasure of working with. It's been life changing for me to work with these guys. And I think you'll find it's life changing for you and for your clients as well. I was actually at a trade show recently and one of our clients um, came up to me and just said, you know what? My life has changed as a result of working with Diana and her people. Uh, suddenly now I have the time to do what I want to do in my business. I have the time to actually spend time with my family that I wasn't spending before because I was like nights and weekends and, you know, in front of the computer entering stuff. I have my life back. So if you want that for you, if you're doing a bunch of administrative or manual stuff for your clients that you don't want to do, if your clients are doing stuff that's that's wasting time and keeping them from growing their business, this is an opportunity to do that. You know, one more thing I'll tell you about that, just give you another thing. One of my clients 
um, who's in the pet industry has to do a whole bunch of work every month to verify that whatever was shipped to them by the vendors is the cost that they were told they were going to get. And she was spending hours every month, like reviewing invoices versus what was entered into the system to see if it's right. We took it over for them. And now we have found things that they didn't find. We have actually been able to verify a lot of the data that wasn't there. And it's all being done at a, you know, she was paying her buyer to do that and paying her, her buyer probably three times what she, what she was paying us to do it. So, you know, it's cost effective, it's efficient, it's smart, and it's just been life changing. So we hope you take advantage of that. Again, if you have any questions, reach out. That's what we're here to do. Again, my thanks to, to all my friends at Management One for doing this. And uh, we have a question. Actually, oh, yeah, a okay. question popped up. So it's question. from John and it says, if you're doing data entry, how much does it cost to enter a class for the month end data entry? If we're entering, if we're doing the, the uploads for, for people, if they're like on a, you know, one of the ones we know, like Shopify or Clover or something like that, it costs $70 a month for us to update every single week during the month and month end. So okay, hopefully so. that, hopefully that answered your question, John. So again, thank you so much for joining today. Again, my sincere apologies for the technical difficulties, Diane and Dan, and, uh, Dan thank you so much. And if anyone has any questions, just reach out to Dan and we will see you guys later. Thank you all so much. Thanks everybody. Have a Thank great you, day. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Okay. I think